<coughs> it has been said in a hadith that Dajjal will not enter Mecca, Medina, and Masjid al-Haram. We can see that those nations about whom we say that they are Dajjal, the Western nation, have already entered the uh, above-mentioned places. So how can this hadith be interpreted? There's, there is reference on me. Uh, yes. And uh, from Muslim Kitabin Fat, Fatim. Al-Fitan. Qala la yadhulul medinete ve la Mecca. The question is simply this, that if this hadith is correct, then Nauz Billah bin Zalik, Rasulullah Sallam is wrong. Because we have seen the entrance of the Jal into both these cities during particularly the Gulf War, where the Jal was invited by the masters of these two cities, the worldly masters, and they entered. Moreover, the entrance of the Jal does not mean literally the presence of the Jal uh, in person, because there is no such the Jal as in person as people think. It is the domination of the Jali culture and the Jali economy and the Jali system of government which is referred to. But that too we have seen has captured the entire Arab world. The Saudi masters themselves admit, and this has been written in the books of the English historians, that they say, we, you are our fathers and your mothers, O oh English people. You have made us, you have brought us up in your lap. So, is this not the entrance of the Jal into Mecca and Medina? So, that means this, this has to be wrong as it is understood. It's impossible for Rasulullah to be wrong and then the Muslims believe in this, this to be correct. So there have, if they search for the weakness among Ravis, they will discover that. Moreover, there is a hadith which is strong, strongly related by authentic Ravis or narrators which stands counter to this hadith, completely counter to this hadith. Because it is said in that hadith that Rasulullah saw the Masih, which was to come during the latter days, circling the Kaaba. And behind him was the Jal circling the Kaaba at the same time. So, how will they make a compromise between the two Hadiths? Rasulullah sees him circuiting the Kaaba. So that positively proves that the Hadith they have mentioned has to be wrong because this Hadith has been proved right. They circuit the Kaaba with the intention of capturing it. They circuit the Kaaba in, in because of the domination of the area. So, a hadith against hadith can be quoted, quoted. One hadith is not fulfilled. If it is hadith, then it is a reflection on Rasulullah One hadith is fulfilled. That proves the truth of Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah as a prophet of God. Whatever he predicted came true.